What's going on everyone? Bobby from Repair Shopper and welcome to Feature Friday. This week we're going to be talking about that recently announced MSP add-on feature and I'm... Uh, excuse me. Oh, we have more to share this week. Well, good news everyone! I have another feature that's not the MSP add-on to talk about this week. This week we're going to be talking about masked credentials. Masked credentials are... A new, it is a new area of the software that touches customers and documents. And since I've already deviated from the script, why don't we start with documents? So for those of you that maybe didn't know, Repair Shopper does have a documentation center. I've gone over that in past videos and I highly recommend checking that out. Shameless plug. Anyway, head to the documentation center and then you can create a new page or click on an existing and in this case we're gonna to want to click edit and when you click edit at the very bottom of the page you'll see a new section here called the credentials area and basically what this allows you to do is let's say you maintenance servers or you manage an um, SMTP for a client you probably need to call on those credentials to service things add new users so on and so forth we've added a way of securely storing those fields for internal documents but also if you need to make those fields visible to your clients you can also make them visible on the customer portal it's pretty easy to set up all you need to do is click new credentials then you'll see a little pop out here give it a sweet name and then enter in a username Typically, I think about this as an email address, but you know, not everything uses email addresses for usernames. Go to town. Host URL if you need to quickly uh, add a URL to maybe get to a login portal or something along those lines, and then a password field. And when you click that, you can type in a very secure password that's hopefully not what I just typed in. There's also a little uh, copy button here, and that'll come into play when you're viewing on the like the text side of the document any notes you may want to make and then and then as mentioned you can make this internal facing or external facing as you see fit now once you're done go ahead and save the changes and let's head oh it reloaded excuse me I promise I know what I'm doing anyway it'll load to the view of the documentation center and you'll see here the kind of like what I call the tech view of sorts what the technicians would see when looking at the document and this is very similar to what your clients would see from the customer portal if it was customer facing you'll see on page load the password field is starred out uh, for technicians or anyone that wants access to them they just simply need to click that and it will load the password and the copy button can be clicked to quickly copy the password um, and then I'll reload the page here just so you can see that on page load the stars return that's documentations I also mentioned that the credentials section is attached to customers as well so let's go talk about that let's head over to the customer and along the top there is a new credentials tab if you click that same process as the document you can view existing credentials or create new ones here works exactly the same give it a name enter in all of the information and decide if it's public facing or customer facing now some of you may be saying Bobby this is all great but I want a way of knowing who's accessing what well I'm glad you asked that because we have a new report so let's head in that direction so for those of you that don't know, typically the reports can either be a tab along the top of your navigation or you can get there from the administration screen. In this case, I had the tab. And if you scroll down to the employees section, you'll see a credential access report. Clicking into this, you can actually parse it by customer. You can choose to include contacts and documentation access if you want as well as being able to query by date. Uh, you can print PDFs or export the report to CSV. The default view is just going to display all of the most recent activity 
and you'll see what document was accessed, if it was uh, a customer credential or a document credential, excuse me, mixing my words up here, the name of the customer associated to it, the type of person that accessed it. So in this case, it says user. If it was a customer, it would say customer. The name of the person that did that, and what's fancy here is that if it's a customer, their name will show up because of portal permissions, which we'll get to here in a moment, their contact, and a timestamp of when it happened. So hopefully this allows you to more granularly know who's accessing what um, and that kind of thing. So I did mention customer portal permissions. And again, shameless plug, there was a recent-ish video uh, where we covered that feature. So I won't go into too much detail other than we did add two new uh, portal user permissions. So head over to admin, customers, portal user permissions. And then uh, in this case, I'm gonna edit an existing group. And you'll see two new options here, credentials view all, credentials view mine. And basically that just allows you to decide who of, from your customers is allowed to see what credentials pretty common you know that not everyone needs to know everyone's password to access office 365 and that sort of thing so I definitely wanted to point that out these are not on by default so if you're going to be exposing credentials to customers and they're going to be accessing them through the portal you're gonna want to come here and decide on whether or not uh, certain groups should have access so with that said that's masked fields Again, masked fields are in the documentation center and they're associated to customers. And their purpose is for you to be able to securely store that, those types of information like credentials and uh, share them with the team or your customers and manage or bring visibility to who is accessing those credentials. Anyway, I know this is a longer than normal Feature Friday and if you're here, I appreciate you and let us know how we're doing. Hopefully everyone likes this feature and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.